instance of Hadoop, before installation, you first have to choose the distribution matching the local operating system. Although Hadoop runs well on Windows and Linux, the only supported production system is Linux. Windows and Unix are usually used as development platforms, although there are plenty of Unix and Windows production systems out there. If you will be using Windows to learn Hadoop, you may consider installing SIGWIN. In this topic, you will learn about the Hadoop installation requirements, understand the installation process, and installation considerations on different types of computers and operating systems. In this demo, we're going to install Hadoop and talk about some configuration issues on the local machine. The first step in installing Hadoop is determining which operating system that you're going to be performing the install on. Now Hadoop basically comes in two flavors. It comes in Windows and it comes in Linux. So you're going to be installing Linux or Windows depending on which machine that you're going to be performing the installation on. In our scenario, we're going to be performing the installation on a Windows machine. I have two files here. I have the Hadoop distribution and I have the config distribution. Now each of these can be obtained by going to the Apache Hadoop site or there's some mirror sites out there as well that you could procure these files. So I'm going to double click on the Hadoop 2.3 file and this is my installation for Hadoop version 2.3 which is the most stable release for Windows. So, click on Extract, and extract all of this to the root folder, in this case the C drive. Now, I'm not going to perform the extraction because I've already done this and it takes about two or three minutes and that's an awful lot of dead air. So, after you're done extracting it to your C drive, Click OK, and I'm just going to cancel mine, and when you're finished, you can close up your jar file. The next step is to verify the installation. Click on File Explorer, and if you navigate to your C drive, you should see the Hadoop 2.3.0 folder. So close Explorer and the next step is to install the custom configuration files. So click on config and navigate down to the Hadoop folder in the archive and extract it to the Hadoop folder on your local machine. And you can click on yes to all to overwrite all, all the files. And then close your archive. The next step is to make sure that your Hadoop environment file has the proper Java path. So I'm going to use WordPad to open this file up. It could be found in the Hadoop folder and it's called Hadoop-env and set Java home to the correct Java home on the local machine. In my case, it's JDK 1.6.1 build 31, which is the most stable Java build for Hadoop running on Windows. Let me save that and exit Word. The next step is to make sure that Java and Hadoop are in your path. So click on this PC for the local machine, navigate to Properties, Advanced System Settings, 
environment variables and make sure that Hadoop home is set and Java home is set and also make sure that each of the respective bin folders are in the Windows path and click OK to exit out. The last step is to format your name node. Click on the command prompt and navigate to your Hadoop bin folder. Then issue the following command. Hadoop space name node space hyphen format and then hit enter and if it prompts you to write all over the current formatting, choose yes. And Hadoop will continue to format. Then you should see a message that the name node is shutting down. This is actually successful. The installation of Hadoop is complete and it's now ready to run.